Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the development of triangle base pyramid. You can see this is a triangle base pyramid. So here three base edges are there. One, two, three. Right. Triangle base pyramid. This is the slant edge, which will give you the slant height of the pyramid. So if you will unfold this, in this unfolded surface, you will get three triangles here. One, two, three. And what is the dimension of each triangle? Two slant heights, one base edge. This line is slant height, slant height, this is base edge. Right? Right here. This is slant height, slant height, slant height, slant height, and this one is base edge. Base edge. Now you can see this is slant height, slant height, and this is base edge. Slant height, slant height, and this is base edge. So if you will unfold this, you will have three triangles here. So the dimension of each triangle is two slant heights and one base edge. <coughs> so let's develop the literal surface. The statement of this problem is available in description box. So we are going to develop the lateral surface of a triangle base pyramid having base edge 30 and height 70. So first we will draw the top view of the pyramid. This is 30. Take an arc of 30 from both the sides because it is equilateral triangle. Now this is the top view of the triangle base prism till this step. We will convert this into a pyramid. So if, if you will see the pyramid, in case of pyramid, slant edges will be there in the top view. One apex will be there. So let us find out its centroid. Take the midpoint of this line, this is 15. Take midpoint of one more line. This is 15. Draw perpendicular. So now this is the centroid from this, this is the apex. And this is the slant edge. Let's say this is the apex O and these are the vertices 1, 2, 3. Now let's draw the reference line. So first we will take the projection for the vertical axis. So from here you have to measure the dimension 70 mm. This is the axis of this pyramid. This is the apex. So now this is the centroidal axis of the pyramid. Take the projection now. This is for 1, 2. This is the projection 3. Now join this to the apex.
now this is the one dash two dash and this is three dash this is o dash now we'll unfold this pyramid so here the question is which one is the true slant height this one is the true slant height which is maximum why it is maximum because this is now horizontal horizontal means to say this point is very important this means to say, means to say this edge o3 is parallel to vp so if this is parallel to vp this will give you true slant height in the front view o1 and o2 this is also slant height this is slant edge so its projection is also giving you slant height but this is apparent slant height this will be less why it is less because this slant edge is not parallel to vp this is the position of this o1 so the front view will be apparent because it is not parallel to vp so let's take this slant height now take projection you can take a gap of 15 mm this is not a standard gap you can take 10 mm also 20 also one more question uh, sometimes the students are saying can we draw it into this orientation can we rotate this so yes it based on the statement now this base edge like out of three base edges one of the base edges perpendicular to vp right one of the base edges perpendicular to vp so next step we have to create three triangles here each is having dimension two slant heights and one base edge so one very simple procedure is there from here you can see from here you have to draw in uh, draw an arc and here you have to take the division equal to base edge 30 mm Thirty, thirty, and this is again thirty. Now this is the first side of the triangle base pyramid. So these are the two slant heights, and this is one base edge. Now this is the third triangle. So now we can remove this arc. This is one, two, three, one, and o. this is the developed surface of triangle base pyramid, right? Uh, we can we'll add as per the statement. We will go for the second part. We'll add the cutting plane also, right? Like after cutting this pyramid from here, what will be the shape of the developed surface? We'll also discuss that that part. So let's see that how to add the cutting plane. So as per the statement, the statement is available in the description box. As per the statement, the cutting plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis at the angle of 45 degree. So this is the midpoint of the axis and the cutting plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis at the angle of 45 degree. This is 45 degree angle. So 
So now the cutting plane is here. Here is the cutting plane. So now you can see cutting plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis at the angle of 45 degree. So let's see what will, what will be the changes here in the developed surface. Only two steps are there. First we have to collect all the points here on the two slant height. This is one, two. You can see this is the height, slant height one, two. This was apparent slant height, we will collect it on two slant height. So this will be corrected. Now this is edge number three. Now these are the slant heights. We have just transferred it on the true slant height. Now we'll distribute this with the help of compass. Take this one as a center. First this is O3. Now this is edge number 3. This is edge number 3. So you can mark the point here for your reference. Now we will see this is edge number 1 2. So one is already there. This one is 2 and last one is again 1. So this is 1, this is 3, this is the height of 2, this is the height of 1. So let's join this with the straight line. So now this is the developed surface of this frustum, this truncated part, remaining part. This portion has been removed, so you can keep these lines as a thin lines. In case of any doubt, please post your comments. I will try to answer your questions. If you have any doubt or any question, please post your comment. And subscribe to the channel please. Thank you so much.